We are in the middle of an installation of Kader. He's one of maybe the most known artists in this exhibition. Koyo is the founding director of an art institution in Dakar. How does it feel to be the headmaster of the purgatory? The purgatory is definitely this, I would say, in-between space. If uh, you take these artworks, they are just joining two different pieces, and, and by this stitch, stitching process, uh, they get fixed, maybe forever. But symbolically, before and beyond this scar symbol, the Reaper is, an in is the absolute in between us. There is, since many, many decades, a long time, a ravaging discussion going on about reparations. You are aware of it in the sense that uh, colonial power should give back something somehow. And are you an advocate of that? The notion of this giving back, it's definitely something which belongs to the modern Western mind. Reparare is a Latin word, which means to going back to the original state. Colonial agenda shaped the rest of the world through their own visions. What is amazing with this concept of repair is that they all get stuck, that is in, in, impossible to attack. Because even the repair carry in itself the unrepairable, is to create the myth of the original aspect. What is fantastic here is that it is impossible. And all the world we are living in since the modernity is illusion. The comeback of the ethno. If you think that art has the power to repair all these imbalances somehow. This use of sometimes uh, ethno icons has a lack of goal. The most difficult question is to understand what are there really now. Because these objects, these millions of objects are not part of the European history. I mean, on the ground. They have become part of European culture totally. I'm constantly wondering whether these items are not a diaspora. Because this item that you see in New York at the, at the Metropolitan Museum, in Paris, Quebranly, here, everywhere, they are, not, they are not in Africa. I saw the same exhibition, as Koyo mentioned, Picasso and the Master in 2009 in Paris. It is the most successful exhibition ever. They were painting of Caravaggio until Cezanne. Uh, supposedly, all the masters who have influenced Pablo Picasso. When I left the room, I thought, where was the African mask? Where was one, at least one single Songi mask? So now we are not talking about the beginning of the 20th century and artists inspiring uh, their new, the, 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 the evolution of their style with African traditional art. We are talking in 2009. And that's why I think it's a total contemporary matter. The notion of denying, the denial of colonialism is also what I'm all the time uh, biding uh, with modernism. When I hear people, French people in France saying, oh, again colonialism, oh, pff, again the Algerian war, this was the past. Let's try to make the, 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 to talk about this now. And this 2009 exhibition for me is really, really, really something that was problematic and I wanted to react. That's why I, I worked on this series of masks with mirrors on which when you see the mask closely, you see your own portrait fragmented, like a Cubist painting, because I thought when I did this project, I did it last uh, October at the FIAC, at the same place in Grand Palais where took place this exhibition. I'm an artist and I do believe in this, this notion of continuity. And this is actually all, what, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, all what really strikes me. The continuum. The fact that everything has no beginning and no end, and we are just part of a continuity. The reaction regarding this exhibition was, for me, sort of, of, of artistic statement. To continue 
to to make that there is, there is as long as there is this denial, we have to fight. <laughs>